What's up, Mad25 Gamers? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Scheme of the Week Session 3. And this uh, video is going to focus on our basic zone coverage, what we like to do to mix up our man coverage. And I actually probably call this more than the man coverage. It, it just, I love this zone coverage. This is, in my opinion, one of the best um, maximum coverage zone defenses you can get in Madden. Uh, just because it just works so good. It, and... Um, and this is it's it's only found in three four over. It's only it's only from the three four playbook or the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. Can't be found in any other formation other than three four over. It comes from our base play, stink pitch zone. Hey, we have a base zone coverage and a base play, and we don't even have to we don't we don't have to base an audible on it. So that's great, right? What we're gonna do is with the stink pitch zone is we're gonna base a line and we're gonna press coverage to make it look like we're in two men under. Then what we're gonna do? We're gonna take Justin Smith here. We're gonna put him in a purple zone. We're going to take uh, Glenn Dorsey here. We're going to put him in a quarterback spy. We're going to take McDonald here and put him in a purple zone. We're going to take, um, and then we're going to take your boy Bauman, and we're going to user control him. Wherever we want, uh, I'll put him in a deep blue just to show you. Typically, what we'll do with this, uh, what we'll do is we'll try to bait him into a throw to the right or to the left. So we'll start right, and then we'll come back left. So if there's a tight end, say there's a tight end right here, He'll go up the seam or something. This was kind of last year's offense, but it still works the same this year. And remember, I like to hold with Bauman here for some of my pressures. So what we'll do is we'll snap ball, and we'll start here, and then we'll just go up the seams, and, and everything gets covered. And those blitz angles from stink pin zone get in at the quarterback at a very high rate. A lot of times it only takes one or two block sheds, and they're at the quarterback Um and when you have your roster set up, like we're going to show you how to do this Niners roster, it becomes very hard to move the ball consistently on this uh, max coverage defense. Remember, so we just slide, swerve, and then we get back, and it's just very tough to, 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 really, to really be able to move the ball quick off this. Now, another thing we could do, uh, you guys know about the yellow concept. We could just globally zone our linebackers and then um, man a line. And you see this is the look we're going to get. And so, like, if they're throwing out routes, you may want to throw this at them. If they're throwing out routes, you can do this. And now you guys are getting, you're going to have guys out there on the out route. So, there's a couple of different options you can do. But the, the core thing about the max coverage D is make sure that those two outside linebackers are, are typically going to want to, you're going to want to have them blitzing on almost every play. Um, just because, just because it, um, it gets in faster uh, than, than typical pressure will get in. Uh, if you wanted to globally zone the linebackers, I would say just crash the D-line out. Quarterbacks by Dorsey. Baseline, baseline and press. And then you would have a, a max coverage look where you are zoning the, the yellows and, and playing the yellow coverage. Um, obviously, I don't recommend that as much because I think it still gets torched. I really, though, am a huge, huge fan of this coverage right here. And then another thing you could do if you want, mix in some man, man up on the outside, shade them out, like so. And then you have one guy deep, and but he's in the middle of the field. And so maybe you use her, maybe you use her Willis this time. And this is just a really good underneath coverage. They, I mean, yeah, they could beat you deep potentially but with man coverage on the outside. And what? The only other way they could go deep is to the slot, and there's a dude. The, the dude's in the middle of the field, so if he, if they get you deep, he's gonna make a tackle. So th you have nothing to worry about here, guys. This is just a really good uh, coverage to use in this game, and I really like this one. Um, you may want to just try and maybe mess with dropping McDonald back a couple steps. We're gonna use Zan's tip, uh, uh, so they get out there a little better. You see they're going to get out better on the curl route, and now you see Justin Smith gets his hand on the ball. So you, if you have time to do that, that's obviously a really great tip from Zan. Uh, if you guys don't know Zan, uh, Forward Progress Madden, let's look him up on YouTube. I think his link's in my description, actually. And uh, be sure to check him out. puts out great tips. And uh, just got, guys, this is just a great play in general. There you see the speed at which you can get a sack. And remember, the base zone coverage is... It's called more so more often because you can adjust more out of it. I really like this play. Probably 35%, 40% of the game I'll be in this coverage just because it's very hard for them to move the ball against. It's typically like my Mike Will Cross, second and long, call this play. On second down, I call this play. You know, Typically on second down, I'll call this play a lot. So add it to your playbook, guys. I really like it. Base zone coverage this week. If you guys have any, or today, if you have any other questions or comments, 
uh, concerning the scheme of the week this week, let me know in, in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Really appreciate another great day to share with you guys. Hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you guys tomorrow bright and early with another Blitz of the Day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.